We are literally here at South Point, so I got a lot of family that's in for Indian National Finals rodeo, and this is kind of like the last like big deal. But anyway, it's biscuits and gravy this morning, and I'm actually hanging out with my cousin, um, Quentin Birding Ground. So one of the neat parts is, is that we're actually thinking about sometime over the next year, maybe trying to create a um, Indian relay team. And I know I've also talked about this whenever I go to Crow, but anyhow, um, let me give you a little information about, he was just talking to me about, about horses though, and just kind of some different things. If you don't know anything about some of the Plains tribes up in, um, you know, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, we have a lot of, a lot of horses though, and Crows, Absalica, were actually known for horses, so anyhow. What were you talking about as far as like some of the horses whenever they come around uh, come around the, the turn? Just educate us. Well, what we were discussing was about how people could waste a lot of money on a horse that runs a certain distance and most re relay races are posted on a smaller track than that horse actually runs. And if he already has the training by the time he bought him and he bought him, he's already in shape. Imagine this fucking, you're coming around the track and it's a smaller track than what he usually runs and he's maybe a first or a second horse, so he has to turn in for the exchange. And that's a four and a half furlong, and maybe he's a five and a half furlong horse, thoroughbred. He's coming in on a four and a half track, he's coming in fast, you know. Maybe he's not gonna make that turn, maybe he's not gonna make the exchange. And if he forces him in, then he gets a chip knee and he's out. He's out for the season. You know, and that's 3,500 $3, down the drain. So, the best is to buy a cheap horse and work him up yourself. And Because if you get a, that five and a half furlong horse and you're training him, you buy him beginning of the season and you're training him, imagine how he's going to run at the end of the season and you're still going to try to turn him in. What are some of the Indian relay teams that you've worked with in the past? Some of uh, Warman Relay. I uh, actually sponsored them at one time. <laughs> I uh, was helping train my, my uncle's horses, Medicine Horse Relay, for uh, my uncle Cleo Medicine Horse. Um, oh, shit, I'm not really there. I mean, I What's some of your favorite teams, though, outside of Crow? Outside of Crow? Try to be Brute Crew. Yeah. Uh, from Pine Ridge. For some of you that don't know, though, actually, I've got a, a grandfather that's actually over in Pine Ridge. His last name is not afraid. So, anyway, if you guys uh, get a chance, so, man. Uh, one of my favorites is uh, from Idaho. They're in Shoshone Bennett. They have Tessa Dimmitt. Uh, Tessa Dimmitt is really good. They won uh, Yeah, they did. They did win. Uh, no, what was it? And then, uh, what Shaka is it? Uh, yeah, they're in Shakopee. It was uh, two years ago, and then they had. Uh, they won this year, didn't did Tissa Dimmitt win? Tissa Dimmitt won champions at, championship at Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. And Billings. Nope. Shakopee, Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah. Uh, the the finals this year oh, were no, in... Uh, Billings. That's the yeah. All Nations. I'm just saying uh, that they won that race there. Tissa Dimmitt, they're a pretty good team. They didn't show up to All Nations this year. What is it? And then you had... Uh, what is oh, it? Which one's, with, uh, which one's with uh, Cheyenne River Sioux? What's his name? Cheyenne River Sioux, that is... I will stop saying. No, because one of my friends, uh, I can't remember right off the hand though, but Tissa Dimmitt is one of my favorites. Um, man. Heck yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I, I remember posting recently, they had uh, PBS actually ran an entire 60 second or 60 minute uh, documentary on Indian relays. So, and one of the neat parts is that um, I've gotten a chance to work a deal and I've kind of worked a little bit with Randy Taylor. Randy Taylor works a little bit uh, with uh, Wrangler Network and you know as a sportscaster and whatnot though and I know that he is kind of kind of overtaken a deal to actually get uh, Indian relays uh, televised so and the reason that's that's a big deal is because that you're 
for people like me though like i've been a fighter since the age of four though and i realized that i needed corporate sponsorships though when it comes to fighting though that's great to fight in front of like say 10,000 live crowd but what happens whenever tv comes along and they're able to give like 57 million which is in front of, you know as many people as i fight in front of now so i can have sponsors like nike i can have sponsors you know these big giant sponsors that way i can give back scholarships and i can give back opportunity and different things like that so tv is really big because you know you get to see you know where tv actually comes to you know to the reservation so man i mean natives and horses man they go together they go together very well you know it really is the first extreme america's first extreme sport might as well show it off like it is and televise it if you guys really think that you guys liked uh, Kentucky Derby, think this. The Kentucky Derby, except for the jockey, has to get off the horse and exchange horses. Running. Twice. Running. So, anyway, you guys have a good day. And, uh, man, you guys ever see this guy up in Crow? Tell him hi. All right? All right. Y'all take care.